Hi, and welcome to Franscha Talks. My name is Thomas. And in this episode, we are going to have a look at the evaluation principle of wheel detection. We already know that generally two main components are required to form a wheel detection system. On the one hand, we have the wheel sensor that is mounted directly on the rail and is therefore part of the so-called outdoor equipment. On the other hand, we need an evaluation board which is either located in the cabinet along the track or in an interlocking house in the nearest station. As this element is not directly exposed to the environmental conditions, the evaluation board forms a part of the indoor equipment. Both components are typically connected via a signaling cable, which runs from the track to the evaluation unit. The wheel sensor provides an analog current and the signaling cable routes the signal through to the evaluation board. The evaluation board takes this analog sensor signal and converts it into digital pulses. So now let's have a look at the conversion of the signal done by the evaluation board. Using the following animation, I'd like to illustrate the typical pattern of the analog sensor signal during the traversing of a wheel. This is nothing new to you if you already had the chance to watch the Franche Talk season wheel sensors. If we now take a closer look at this signal, we can see what happens inside the evaluation unit. As you can see, the nominal operating sensor currents of the two sensor systems, which can be considered as 100% level, drop as the wheel traverses the sensor. In order to convert this analog wave into a digital signal, different trigger levels are used by the evaluation board. These are called trigger on level and trigger off level. Depending on the wheel detection system in use, these trigger levels are either hard-coded in the software of the board or they can be flexibly configured based on the requirements of the application. As soon as the analog current of the sensor system drops below the trigger on level, the evaluation board generates a digital signal. This digital output lasts as long as the analog current stays below the trigger off level. By reaching this specific point, the digital signal is set back to its original level. The second wheel sensor system follows the exact same procedure. Now that we understand the basic architecture of a wheel detection system and how the evaluation board uses triggering levels to convert the wheel sensor signal, we can move on to the next episode of Franche Talks, where we will dive further into the processing of the digital pulses and their uses. So thank you for joining us and see you in the next episode of Franche Talks.